But that also means someone told Zangarak we were coming. Yeah. Unless he just took a giant telescope and be like, hmm, that island's moving pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or is that island coming to us? <laughs> it's like that old, oh my god. Okay, welcome back to the last story. In the last part, we were accused of killing General Ashtar, and we think it's Jarrell, but we need hard, concrete evidence. I love that they're just like, it's Jarrell. <laughs> no question. It's gotta be. What other suspects do we have here? He's a ferret. <laughs> it's the ferret. Is that a ferret? Room is upstairs. Is, is that, that a student? student? Technically, it's a ferret. <laughs> I knew when you said it, I'm just like, that sounds just wrong enough. What's the actual <laughs> quote? <laughs> is that a student? Yeah. Technically, it's a ferret. I think that's the one thing I like of the Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Mad-Eye Moody. <laughs> Everything else ranges from eh to heritage. What's the name of the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> he said calmly. Which is a level in and of itself. Apparently they're like massive illustrated versions of the book. Yeah. And I kind of really want them. Ooh. They're just expensive and I'm I don't sure. and I don't need them and I don't have anywhere to put them. But I don't need it. I know, but they are really pretty. It. I don't need it. After moving all of my books and trying to fit them all into bookshelves, mm -hmm. yeah. About that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did it. I still have a lot of books up there, though. I am just... Cool. That means more days where I'm going to step out and be like, oh, is that another bookshelf? <laughs> All right. Let me just put it into the living room. Yeah. And head off to work. I don't know where I would put another bookshelf. Or it's a Dagrin's serving as a distraction for us. Dagrin? How did you manage that? Never you mind. Unlike you, I still have Urgent news from the general! What's the matter? Never seen a black and white before? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Excuse me? I think I should be asking, who are you? We're in a war, man! <laughs> I have no idea what that's from. Mulan! Oh, okay. And I do not scream like a girl. Ah! Urgent news from the general! What's the matter? Never seen a black and white before? Because he's riding the panda. Oh, okay. And he's just staring at the panda. He's like, what's the matter? Never seen a black and white before? It's been a hot minute. Yeah, that's not one of the Disney movies that you watch ad nauseum. I don't watch them as much as you think I do. <laughs> Maybe I, I listen. Just hear the I listen to the music more. a yeah. lot. Don't matter what you look like. <laughs> I yeah. hear that all the time. But I'm not actually, I don't have the movie on all the time. I got you. Oh, Dagrin, look. Oh, his sword has blood on it. Yeah, and look at this letter. That must have been one tough letter to open. Business it. dealings with the Garak. Zale, what are you doing here? What's this? What's the problem, Count? I'll accept full responsibility, but first, please take a look at this. That sword emblem. It's Lord Jarrell's. And this letter is we got him now. Book him, Dagrin. And there we go. Sorry about that. Yay! Sir, I do wish you'd avoid such low-class methods. My apologies, sir. Well, at least Jarrell and his cohorts won't be bothering us anymore. Will he, though? <laughs> those who have nothing to show for themselves but their needs. You haven't seen the last of me! I'll get you, He-Man! <laughs> See, now I'm wondering it wasn't Jarral. It was him. The Count? Yeah. Ooh, that'd be an interesting and twist. And he's framing Jarral because he's a squirrely ferret to begin with. I got you. Oh, there we go. Or it's Dagrin framing Jeral so that he can free Zale. Okay. Because he still cares. He's not on the shitter, guys. He's on a couch. <laughs> Every time. Every time. 
Oh. <laughs> you are a free man. Did you believe in me? General Astar would never have placed his hopes on an underhanded coward. Yay! Thirius is our friend again. I also you know, I was thinking, do you think his name is Sirius, but his parents had like a Mike Tyson kind of lisp? Sirius? Sirius? Seriously, guy? <laughs> no, I want his name to be Sirius. That or like mom was just like really out of it after birth. She was like, Sirius is good. <laughs> like, excuse me while the blade... The blood from my vagina returns to my brain. Oh, she also turned to, <laughs> to Count Dracula. <laughs> Excuse me, wow. The blood from my vagina returns to my brain. Is that better? Oh, it's out of the body. The blood is gone. It's no longer in the body. <laughs> okay, so it's different from an erection. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's always said, God made a penis. And a brain, and only enough brain, enough blood to operate one at a time. Yes. No. Birth, the blood is, you're, you're cut. Our commentary is yeah. recommended for ages 13. <laughs> yeah, you're cut open. I just thought of that. I'm just like, ah, oh, shit. Swearing's one thing. Talking about vulgar and profanity. and something else. Shame. Well. Shame! It's good Callista, I'm cleared! ...that you weren't responsible for what happened. My name would never have been cleared if you hadn't come to help me. Thank you so much. But what are you going to do now? So now that we're a ways into the game, what do you think of the relationship with Zael and Callista? Especially for someone who's not a fan of love stories at all. What's your opinion? It's very tropey. All right. Um, Like, story-wise, it's very tropey of like... Oh, she's of a higher standing, and he loves her anyway, and he'll do anything for her, and and she's like, no, don't change yourself. Like he was a boy, yeah, she was a girl. Could it get any more obvious? He was um, a merc. <laughs> but I mean, I I don't mind it. Like okay. it's it's not gross. Okay. If that's um an acceptable answer, like it's not so overly mushy and toxic that i just want to vomit all right it's just like yeah why not another love story because i feel like at the end of the day zale wanted to be a knight from the beginning yes. so it's not like oh he met callista and he's going to become a knight for her right she's just a catalyst so okay. it's like now he wants to become a knight even more so that he can be with her okay so uh, so like there's i just i hate it whenever there's like a grease moment where one character has to completely change who they are. Oh. So, like, how Sandy was, like, this good girl and all this stuff, and then she completely changes who she is so that she can... That's a common complaint. ...be with Danny? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, I just... I'm not about that type of... It's a very of, common complaint yeah. of the, tell me about it, stud. And then the car zooms up into the air, and I'm just like, what am I watching? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Um, well, the leather pants cut off circulation and she died, and that's her ascending to heaven. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of storytelling where one character changes themselves completely for another person, just okay. because then it's like, okay, so you weren't really compatible to begin with. Got you. Like, well, to be fair, like, right before that drastic change, he was going to change. Yeah, too. he put on a letterman. Oh, he put on a letterman, like, <laughs> you know, where. I mean, he pissed off his boys. Yeah. I, like, I get it. They both were going to change, but it was just like, why couldn't it be? Mutual. That she stayed the, you know, goody two shoes and he stayed the greaser and they were together anyway. I got you. So, I I would rather have like a despite, like despite our differences, we're made for each other, rather than like you have to change everything about you. We're made for each other. Yeah, hey, I just realized that wasn't the door I came through. What is that door? That's the door I came through. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's with the random other door here? Was this door here before? Hmm. Oops. Well, we'll see. We still got. I'd say a good quarter left of the game here. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where the chips fall where they may. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here now. So we got Jeral thrown in jail. War still on the horizon. Can't forget that. Oh, yeah. The war. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, because we're a floating island about to crash into the Garak continent. I'm not so sure. What's up? You seem troubled. I was talking to Therius just now. He suspects that Jarrell was framed by somebody. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, did I call it? I knew it. You set him up. There you go. Do you hate it when I'm right? It's not easy. Sometimes. <laughs> it's just hard to, like, keep the surprises if you call it, and I'm just like, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> You're ah! spot on, but there's some people watching this. Not the Fada. The Fada knows this game by heart. Um, but there's some people watching this just, just like, oh, I don't know where the story's going to go. Well, it's just me theorizing. Yeah. But like, I don't know just, that I'm right. I'm just like, listen. The difficulty is me not cracking. <laughs> Of a bitch, be like, God damn it, focus on his pants. <laughs> and this is why I make fun of the outfits because <laughs> what? What's Staggered's pants? Focus on the story. Oh, I bet he set him up. Never mind, focus on the pants. I did this during oh, what show were we watching? Stranger Things. Stranger Things. I did this yep. during Stranger Things. I like you paused pa it and yep, I was like, Listen, I'm right. gonna run you through the rest of this show. <laughs> you were like, All right, here we are. <laughs> I did it for um, WandaVision. If you do, the next time you have that moment, I'm pulling out the phone so it can at least be a snap so that we have proof. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like a short or something. It'd be like, hey, she like, listen before. And then we'll have an aftermath snap of you. Of Where me just the being scene like, being and you're just like, oh, <laughs> called it. The real MVP. See, I think it's just because I read so much that I know how that character grows. Because it's not that there's not growth in mm -hmm. all of the characters so far throughout right. the game. It's just a very standard They're form of storytelling growth. Okay. So, like, Dagrin being the leader, everyone just kind of blindly follows him. And, like, he team. would do anything for them. Yes. So, and it's just, like, oh, it fit well. too perfectly that Jeral would be the out. Mm -hmm. You know. No one to tell me I'm holding the glass wrong. Or but one question remains: place. Who killed General Ashtar? I'm saying it's the Count. Indeed the Count. Does. All right. And if I happen to have a little love affair, I the Count or Dagrin. Okay. I still feel like Dagrin is the uh, the yeah. the villain. Wait. Oh. If that makes sense. Okay. But not in like the stereotypical villain. Like I don't think he's doing this like, ah, the world is mine. Ha ha. Okay. I feel like he's doing more of like I understand. Okay, here's my theory. Let's hear it. Here's my theory. So I feel like Dagrin was probably once either a knight mm -hmm. from a knight family mm -hmm. or some way tied to the knighthood. Okay. It could be any one of them. Okay. I feel like he was disgraced in some way or okay. lost faith in the knighthood in some way All right. and left. So he became a mercenary. So now he's finding all of these little treasures of people mm -hmm. that have good hearts. They're good people. They're now his team of mercenaries. Spotto, don't give it away. So <laughs> Go on. he is... That's his family. I feel like he lost his family and this is his new family. This is his new family. Okay. And whenever like Zale starts talking about like, I want to be a knight, he knows the disgrace of knights uh -huh. um, because we're seeing that throughout the game, how the knights are like, oh, we'll just stand around and let, let the mercenaries do it. Let them die. So they're not like good people. Okay. And I feel like Dagrin knows that. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to get Zale to not be a knight by either framing him or by killing his person that's making him a knight. Okay. Um, by starting a war. Okay. You know, I feel like he's kind of ringleadering so that his family doesn't fall apart. Okay. So he's doing it because he thinks it's the right thing to do, but it's still like... As a wild thing to do. Gotcha. Okay. Because that's how, like, I typically see that character arc go. Alrighty. We shall see. So as of now, that's my theory. As of now, that's your theory. Okay. And what what is your theory of the Count being the big bad that killed General Ashtar? 
What's your theory behind that? Because he's a creepy guy with an he's eye patch. Creepy guy with an eye patch. Yeah, it's usually the creepy guy <laughs> with the eye patch. Explanation as why Dagrin is the villain. <laughs> and the count, he's creepy. He's got an eye patch. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That and, like, his little asides of, like, yes, yeah. the world will be mine, which to me is very much, like, look over here while we set up this for the shocking t- plot twist that mm-hmm. it's not actually him. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Well, okay, then. This is what happens when you read 100 books a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently coming up on... 10 video games so far this year. I mean, it takes a lot longer to play a video game than to read a book. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it, it's, it's, I'm still proud. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's a lot games. for a video game. Because they're not short either. Like Some are. Most aren't. Like, uh, Bonk's Adventure wasn't that long. Uh, Klonoa and Pac-Man aren't that long. Yeah, I mean, they're long enough, though. Yeah. Like last story, I might have read a hundred books this year, but how many of them were children's books? <laughs> ah, <laughs> you know, okay. so it's like. Okay, I see where you're coming from. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You're smelling what I'm stepping in. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, Mister, what's that smell? You're picking That's up what I'm throwing change, down. That's the smell of change, son. That's the smell, That's of, the change. smell of change. All right. So, anywho. Oh. Master Zale, Count Argonum wishes to speak okay. to the lookout points. Meeting with the Count. Let's just go right to it. I'm hoping this is one of those moments where it just takes me. It does! Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> I don't have to stumble around the castle finding Trying out to the find lookout it. point. Alright, here we go. We're approaching the Garak Stronghold. This is it. This is the beginning of the end. That is the Gorak's main base of operation. Ah, home sweet home. Their recent attack <laughs> upon Lazarus. I dare say they will be well prepared to fight back. But with the Lazarus cannon on our side, victory is certain. Zale, if you show your worth in this battle, I trust you understand. Count Argonne. About Callista. I speak not only of Callista. I will make you a knight. Is that not your dream? We move on the Gorak at once. Are you prepared? All righty. I'm ready. Azulis Island approached the Gorak continent. The call to arms went swiftly out through the castle, and within the day, an attack force... Had this is how we show the passage of time. <laughs> sank below the horizon these warriors nervously awaited the fate are you ready for a big brutal war sure that we have turrets and cannons at the edge of our island. I know. <laughs> You're telling me? No one noticed those before? Shh. I feel like this is similar to like a giant robot fight. Oh yeah? Like I'm getting robot fight vibes. <laughs> Think it's like a big old kaiju battle? Yeah. I'm going to ram my island into your island. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of two kids with Tonka trucks. Yeah. And with that, the Lazarus troops broke into Gorak Castle. All right, we're in. Oh, dead baby. So there's no soldiers here, just civilians. You'd better work damn hard now you're Okay, so for General Ashtar. Okay. Yeah, new kid. You 
I feel like they're... Okay. So this is leading me to believe the Garak are not the bad guys. Okay. Basically, the general is attacking the Garak. Like, invading them. Okay, you think... Not the other way around. With, okay. The general or the count? The count, Because yeah. keep in mind, the general's dead. Yeah, like, the count, whether sorry. Whether in the past he did his dirty The bad guy. Not, he passed away. Because if we were supposed to believe that... Yeah. Because keep that. in mind, Zangarak attacked us first. So we believe, at least. So we... So we believe, but we don't know what initiated that attack. Okay. So, because why else would the Count send this giant army to attack civilians? Yeah. Like, war is not fair, but there are rules in war. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely breaking a rule of war. Mm -hmm. Ah! Strike down a child. So that leads me to believe that the knights and where we're playing as, mm -hmm. we are the bad guys. We're yeah, the invaders. Gotcha. Yep. All right, love. That's because you moved further away from me. I can still get you. Hey, focus on the game. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the truth is out and Zael is not happy. And Siren's just like, eh, this is war. Come on. What were they saving all this up for, eh? Oi! Don't you touch that! I found it And the knights are like, ooh, look at all this treasure yeah. they got. <laughs> Mine now! <laughs> now we're flashing back to Zale's childhood. Dum dum dum. Oi. That's Seren. <laughs> oh no, it's uh, the captain. Oops. They're, they're no different from common bandits. Just give these noble political types a sword, and this is what they do. They cut down women and kids. Alzale really doesn't know if he wants to become a knight. If that's what being a knight means. My plan is falling into place. <laughs> The city had fallen all too quickly. Now the Lazarus Knights had to pursue Zang Yeah, where's Zangarak? Where is he in all this? Invading the central keep. Deathly silence. Fell it's a weird king if he's letting his civilians die. Azale took his first steps inside the keep. Really muscular. He's laying on my feet, smacking his lips. I see him, yeah. The advance party says they've taken the castle depths to the throne room. Oh, look at your party. Yeah. It's a party up that in here. It is a party. One, two, shit. <laughs> well, I'll get back to it. Hold on. Are these more members? Oh, prisoners. Right, you lot. You're working for us humans now. Well. All's fair in love and war. False. No? <laughs> Is that like half a quote? No, that uh, it's a quote. All oh, and love and war. That is the quote. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we haven't got all day. Move. All we wanted to do was live in peace. Some of us were just children, but they destroyed our village out of selfish greed. Stop dawdling! Get on now! Oi! Quit your dilly dallying! Zale, come on. We can talk about this as much as you want afterwards. Just keep your mind on getting this done for now. Then we can get out of here. What? No enemies here either? 
Huh. We're approaching Zangrak's throne and there's like nothing. No guards, no enemies. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a party of seven. That's a that's a record. Yeah, I've, that's that's the a lot. Most I've seen in RPG is five. Oh. Most RPGs have a team of four. Some have a team of three. Uh, Mario RPGs, I think it's just you and a partner. But um, no, I've never seen seven before. A lot of them are like um, computer. I guess. Yeah, CPU. Yep. Yeah. I think the only time I've seen, like, in MMOs, like World of Warcraft or stuff like that, mm -hmm. you can get, like, a party and then chain with a party and you can have, oh. like, 20-some people wow. do, like, raids or, like, monster hunts and stuff like that. Okay. So it can get pretty hectic. But as for, like, an RPG where there's, like, CPUs, I think Last Story is one of the biggest ones. He's remembering. Stop it. It's all coming together. All they wanted to do was live in peace. How could they hurt all those people so easily? How? Those bastards. Luna purring into the mic. And now they just gloat on an empty throne. Sail. <laughs> Look around. If you want to stop this, I have a free hand. <laughs> you can't just block it out. I can pet the kitty. You're gonna have to climb to the pit, top pit, and change pit. things that way. <laughs> Your own way. Get it? Now back to business. Finish up and we can get the hell out. And now we're back to just the three of us. Zale, Seren, and Therius. Everyone else. You gotta be Therius. You gotta be Therius. This castle is now mine! <laughs> Captain claims the throne. One of the prisoners we captured let slip something strange. Strange? How? He said that the Garak soldiers pulled out of here just before we attacked. You mean... Hmm... The enemy knew we were going to invade. It can't be. Are you saying one of us is an insider working for the Garak? Who knows? Right now they're asking the prisoner. Well, that's kind of shitty of Zangarak. prejudice. So he pulled out his soldiers at the last instant. I still find it most odd that they left all this treasure without even one soldier to But that also it. means someone told Zangarak we were coming. Yeah. Unless he just took a giant telescope and be like, hmm, that island's moving pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me or is that island coming to us? <laughs> it's like that old, oh my god. So there was a cartoon from the makers of Animaniacs called Hysteria. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar I with it. I am not. But there was this one skit they did of like Napoleon and um, he has to use the restroom while his like first mate is looking to see how far the enemy is. And he's just like, well, they're still pretty far away, rapidly approaching, and they're still there. And then he finishes and Napoleon's just like, turn it around, you have it backwards. Oh my and he God. turns and they're, and, like, like, they're right like, in front of right him. there. <laughs> yep. I've seen that skit before. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Is it just me? Or is that frisbee getting closer? And then it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Alright, let's save before we get up there. It could be a trap. Is it a trap? It's a trap! It's just a little kid. Is it? Unless he's gonna lead us into like a whole legion of soldiers. It's a midget. That's not nice. It's a little it's a person. Li oh boy. Oh. Aw. He's got a slingshot. He'll fight to the end. Hey, slingshot grenades, run! <laughs> 
Oh. That's not it's okay. He didn't mean it. No. Wait. Human filth. You are killing us without a fight. There we go. The fighting's over. Civilians are going to fight back. But Zell's like, no, no, come quietly. <laughs> We're, there's no fighting. Slavery. <laughs> Does Zangorek treat you badly? The soil of this land became barren long ago. Finding anything to eat is difficult. King Zangorak appeared wielding a strange power, and he united our people. He said if we go to the human continent, then we can live as we once did. These Garak are no different from us. It's the land's decay that's causing all this conflict. They're about to begin the bombardment. Hurry! Our forces will withdraw soon. You have to use that chance to escape. Bit of a one-sided invasion, this. What is a Garak? The male I mean, looks yeah, like cat people, but the females and the, the children... I'm getting more of like a... a almost lizard-like appearance. Yeah. Appearance. So I'm not sure, like, if they were going for, like, beast well, men, or... I, I mean, they're a cool aesthetic either way. Yeah, it's a very yeah. neat aesthetic. It's just like, at first, I thought they were, like, cat people. Because, like, Zangarak looks like he has a big old lion's mane. Is that a part of him, though, or is it a part of his outfit? Uh-oh. We're under it. Oh, shit. The ogre's butt. All right, then. So do we help them or not? <laughs> hmm. Oh, what the hell. It's the three of us and three senior knights that have literally one life left. Huh. Good luck. Ouch. Alright, we're gonna have to circle these guys from behind. Okay, is it just the two ogres? Really? I can't run up the door? There we go. That's what I want. Whee! You missed. Okay, good, good. Ow. Everyone's dead. It's okay. Ugh. No, I'm dead. Therius, it's up to you! You can't be serious. <laughs> you can't be serious. I can't do this by myself. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Alright, come on. Let's try Power Strike, Power Chain. Okay, so I can only give commands to Seren. Therese is like, you don't command me. Ow, shit. Okay, they hit real hard. All right, let's not get carried away. Come on, Seren. All right, there went one. Now one remains. Look out, look out, look out. Oof. Okay. So he slams down, then he does like a little swing around. Okay, careful. Here it comes. Oh! Damn. There it is. Ooh, good XP. Nice. He falls on him. Mummy! Yeah. Now you'd better not forget what we've done for you. Cause if you do... Yes, Mom! Uh, I, I won't, Mom! Alright, so I think we're done here. Let's pull out, get all these Garak to safety, and we'll figure out what happens next in the next episode. Ah, toodles! I must wait for answers. Worst! <laughs>